Right, I'm going to be as honest as possible. I truly believe that this Italy team is 100% beatable, and here's why. Hello, my name is Matt and welcome to Matt Talks Football, the home of all the football opinions, reactions and predictions. If you like that sort of thing, do me a favour please and hit that little red button down below, hit the subscribe button, help my channel grow. And today I'm going to be giving you my reaction to Italy versus Spain and I'm going to tell you why. I am not scared of Italy after that performance, I'm really not. Don't get me wrong, Italy are thoroughly deservedly got into the final of Euro 2020. You know, beating teams like Belgium, one of the best teams in the world with De Bruyne and Lukaku. That is no easy feat. And Italy were sensational that game. There's no, I'm not taking anything away from Italy and their performances. And I thought to myself after that game, it's their tournament to lose. You know, who can really hurt this Italy team? They just seem so hard to break down. Such a unit, such a well-oiled machine. But Spain exposed some weaknesses in this Italy team. And it gives some English fans, if we get to the final, some hope. You know, this Italy team is 100% beatable. Spain can count themselves very, very unlucky not to get through in this game. They were very unlucky not to win this game. Don't get me wrong. Spain have been absolutely bang average this whole tournament. And they showed up for the semi-final. So fair play to them. Pedri is an absolute talent at his age. But Italy have also got Federico Chiesa, who's also unbelievable. We've seen some really good performances from really young players, and that is great to see. But this Italy team, they just played a very well-structured game against Spain. They let Spain dominate possession. And a lot of people thought Italy were going to dominate Spain. They're going to absolutely whitewash them. And I said, that ain't going to happen. Italy are going to be their style of football, that structured football, that quick transition into a counter-attack, into an attacking threat. And Spain are going to dominate possession, be high up the field and not be able to defend. And that is pretty much how it did. They just cancelled each other out. Italy were happy for Spain to dominate the possession. And Spain were happy to dominate possession in Italy's half. But Italy have got some danger men going forward. Chaser, as we spoke about, Immobile can score goals and Insigne is actually a very, very good player. And Italy, uh, so much like England, is actually incredible. They've got that strong structure. They're hard to beat in defence. Their midfield are hard working. They really close you down in the high press. And then their front three are very skillful and can score goals. You know, this is exactly what England are like. I think if England go through, they very much are the same team. They're going to play the same way. They're going to play that same structured way. And they've both got players who can hurt each other. But going into the game in the final of England could beat Denmark, I truly think in front of Wembley, in front of all the fans at home in England in the final of Euro 2020 slash 21, England have got just as much of a chance to beat Italy as Italy do England. And I truly think that England will have the momentum, especially if we get a great result against Denmark tonight. We're going into the final with some players on absolutely top form. If Harry Kane can be a nuisance to Chilean and Benucci, then he fucking will. You know, Sterling, Rashford, Sancho, Saka all provide some pace. You know, Italy do high press at times and they do create spaces at the back. And when you can imagine Saka running at Chiellini and Bonucci and getting past them, they ain't going to catch him. They're going to have to double team him. And that also leaves opportunity for someone like Sancho, Sterling, Rashford to be on his shoulder to receive the ball. This is why I truly think England are going to go into that final after beating Denmark and really give it a game. I don't think it's going to be like a, a classic final. I think it's going to be a very well tactical game. It's going to be like a nil-nil or one all. It's going to be a very tight game and they'll probably go to extra time in the penalties and we all know that's probably not good news for England <laughs> but it might be good news for Italy but I'm truly going into the final now after seeing that Spain performance and thinking to myself they've gone not only 90 minutes but an extra 30 minutes in extra time and then they've had to go through the, the, the emotional state of a penalty shootout that takes it out of them and if England can get a good result in 90 minutes we go in with fresh legs and in our squad, we've got depth in quality. We can switch up the style of play whenever we want to. We can play a tactical game with Foden, Mount and Grealish. Or we can switch up with a bit of pace with Sancho, Sterling and Saka and Rashford. You know, I truly think this is England's best chance 
for it to come home. And I'm not scared of Italy anymore. After the Belgian game, I was shitting my pants. I'm not going to lie to you. But now, I'm going into the game against Denmark thinking, we have to win. And if we win that, we can beat Italy. But we have to beat Denmark first. We have to beat what's in front of us. And I truly think that Italy are 100% deservedly in the final. But I don't think they're unbeatable. I think we've got a better chance of beating them than I thought we had. And if we can beat Denmark, then the world is our oyster. And boys, it is coming home. I honestly think that England Euro 2020 slash 21 winners sounds good especially in front of our own fans. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Italy's performance against Spain. And do you think Italy will have too much for either Denmark or England in the final? Let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you guys in another video.